you know, last year when we went to New York for the study tour, it was, I think, a brilliant showcase in four days. Within those four days, we saw right from, uh, you know, the planning for a house, a home, the interiors of one particular home, which was very affluent, and we saw the interiors of the low-cost housing. We saw, you know, from uh, single building designs to township designs, as well as the entire town urban planning. It was a very well laid out and organized uh, uh, program for us. And we had some fun too, you know, we went for boat rides and oh, that was fun too. Cheese and champagne. <laughs> that, that was great. And it was, I think, a brilliant showcase in four days that we did there. Is that to see that a city in decline, how it moved out of its lowest ebb in 1975, New York was a fabulous city in the 1880s and it grew up as a financial center, the center of culture, art and everything. And I think in the 70s it was a dead city. I remember Ford's uh, most famous uh, saying that it told the, he, he told the city, drop dead. Because they were bankrupt, there was graffiti written walls. So was it, it, it was a city in total decline. In 1975 and in the 1980s, how they climbed out of this uh, disaster it, it was amazing to see that. And the few things that made us think, sit up and think, you know, that are we developing our cities the right way? Because here we find that this was a successful city, went into decline, and it has climbed its way up again, right in front of us. And the city is actually attracting new business. It is attracting young people who had all moved out of the city. It's coming back. Business is coming back. Rents are at an all-time high. I think it's a brilliant way to develop it. Right. They feel that the more they build infrastructure, the more people come in. And it is not car friendly at all. They, they're using bicycles, they're using walking, and they're using infrastructure, mass transport. It was brilliant to see that. And how we can relate that to India today where we are moving exactly the other way. I mean, to tell you about that one Bryan Park that we went to, uh, it's a new building. It's the third highest skyscraper in uh, New York today. And we have 20 or 2.1 million square feet of visible area there. There isn't a single car park. Wow. I mean, that was, it was an eye-opener. You know, today, here I'm building a residential complex of 1.3 million. And I think I've got 1 million square feet of car park. What a national waste this is. What, a, what natural resources are going down the drain. I could have built 2 million square feet of livable housing with that kind of cement and steel going into it. So, you know, are we really doing it? Are we choking our cities? That made us think that this is one of the newer buildings in New York. It doesn't have a car parking space and still it demands the highest rate for uh, leasing. I think it was brilliant. We went to this... Uh, development in the Bronx, the Via Verde. It's a fabulous place. They've got middle-income group housing, which is for sale. Then they've got the middle-income group housing for rental. And they've got the low and affordable housing. It's all in the same building. They all live in harmony. And it's working very well. It's a green building. It is, it is, it is won an award also. And uh, that was an eye-opener too that yes, we can all live in harmony, we need the economical vehicle selection, we need a place in the city for everybody. It's not fair to say that the economical weaker section should all go out of the city. Where are you going to find your people to work with for you, for you in the offices, to work with you at homes, to work with you in the, you know, in the service industry, whatever. So we have to live together. And New York showed us that this is the way that these people are doing it. So, I mean, you know, it is uh, a showcase within four days of an entire city which tells you how we can plan our city here in India, in, in India too. I mean, we've got some 600 million people who will now be migrating to cities. We need, of course, the old cities to regenerate themselves and, of course, newer cities here because of our sheer size of population. But we do need to be attracting and not pushing away people from these cities.